Hey creative friends, well today I am practicing with a diode laser and using microfiber. These cloths came from Walmart and they're mostly polyester. Most of your microfiber cloths will be um, a polyester, maybe a combination like this one, but probably 100% polyester. Um, anyway, so I did 80% power, 200 millimeters per minute using light burn. And as you can see, it uh, it cut perfectly, but it, it melts the fabric. Um, and so this, uh, this came out very easily. Um, and it's just like uh, melted those uh, fibers. So, yeah, so I'm going to play around with some more settings and maybe make that a little bit larger and uh, go from there. Okay, I think this may be the winner of my setting because it does look like it's cutting all the way through. So 80% power and it's not quite painfully as slow. It's that 300 millimeter per minute. So again, I've been testing lots of different settings here, but I think I have uh, zeroed in on my favorite where it looks like it's cutting all the way through. It's not melting the material nearly as much as my first try. And it, uh, yeah, so it does look like it's cut all the way through and wasn't too painfully slow. So 80% power, 300 millimeter per minute using light burn and just a few little spots there, but that will come apart easily. You know, definitely you'd want to snip it so you don't distort anything. But there we go. I think microfiber microfiber cuts um, nicely. And again, I've just tested this blue darker color. But I will check the yellow out here uh, briefly in just a second. But the nice thing about it, if you uh, play around with those settings, you can do some nice line engraving. Uh, this was too much power because you can tell it's cutting all the way through in the corners. But um, you could get some nice easy line engraving. Okay, I think that setting's going to work for the yellow as well. So that was 80% power, 300 millimeter per minute using light burn. need to snip it just in one or two spots, but it did come out nicely. So the blue and the yellow seem to work pretty well at that setting. Excellent. And I'm going to add them to my little blue jean notebook that I started last video. Yep, and that, that cut nicely and you could use this leftover for something too. Okay, and check this out. I think this would be great for just line engraving. Um, it was 10% power and still at the 300 millimeter per minute uh, using light burn, just cutting it as a line. But you'll notice it's, 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 uh, it's subtle. Um, I like it and it does not go all the way through the fibers. It's just melting, melting that line. And um, let's see, let me see if I can look at the other side. Yeah, you'll notice just a teeny hint of it on the other side, but I don't think that's going to fall apart and it would last through the wash, I think. I will definitely try it. Um, very cool. So 10% power, 300 millimeter per minute. Okay, so what do you think of these engraving settings? Again, and this was uh, where I had done it like lines, line style, and that worked great. But if I use those same settings in the traditional raster going back and forth, you know, that, that didn't work. It's burning a hole. So I've been playing around with that and just in the engraving some more. And so this is 10% power, 2,000 millimeter per minute. And then I tried 10%, 3,000 millimeter per minute and you can tell the effect is very subtle it's it's no longer soft right there because it's singed the, the top layer of fabric and if you uh, look underneath not a whole lot of evidence of that here and then over here I think this one would be even better on the back uh, let's see so 
it's right there. Yeah, can't tell anything at all on the back. So again, it's a very subtle engraving effect, but um, much, much better on these man-made materials than it is on natural cotton uh, linen-based materials. So very, very cool. Give that a try. Again, this is just my diode laser that I'm experimenting with, so definitely your settings will be different. But I really like this for engraving. This was 10%, 3,000 millimeter per minute. And then for the cutting, I really liked, let's see, what was that? 80% and 300 millimeter per minute, I think, gave a nice good cut. So... Yeah, so definitely play around with that. Nice subtle effect, and that should stay in the material without it falling apart too quickly. So I'm going to try one more with the blue, and we'll see what the blue engraving looks like. Uh, let's see, this was 20% um, power on the, the blue at 3,000 millimeter per minute. And then on the yellow, I started at, uh, it looked better at 10, 10%. Power. So anyway, uh, it did have to bump the power up on this darker color, which I'm a little bit surprised, but who knows. Uh, definitely play around. Every laser is slightly different. Um, and anyway, thanks for bearing with me and watching through this. I hope you like and subscribe. I've got lots of video, but I'm just going to pare this down to just a quick summary for you. Um, I'll try to help you out if you have any questions. But again, this was on just a microfiber cloth. Uh, it's mostly polyester. This one came from Walmart. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you are in the search of fun diode lasers, this Nay uh, laser has been awesome for me and many other people out there. So um, I appreciate the affiliate links. If you uh, choose to buy something, just uh, use one of those but down below. And anything you buy from them, I get just a small little percentage. And I really thank you guys for using those, any of these affiliate links throughout my channel. Um, Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you probably next weekend, hopefully. Take care.